lost Temple. This is our third game in Grudge Love Saturday. Um, Avocado versus Silva, Terran versus Zerg. We're we're starting on the good old lost Temple, as I said. Good old Lost Temple. You never see enough of this map, do we? And um, these choices were made by me, actually. The players didn't get to choose right now. Um, but I got to say, any player out there would probably be happy with uh, with Lost Temple. There's, there's just so much you can do on this map. It's it's pretty... I'm going to say it's pretty even for all the races. Um, I think if you want to try something creative, this is a good map to do it on. But um, if you want to play a more standard game, if you want to take it slow and and not uh, take any risks, then uh, this is also a good map for you. So, Avocado spawning on the right-hand side of Lost Temple, Silva spawning on the left-hand side, um, and uh, sadly, no um, no proxies going to happen in this game, because they were seriously changed, nerfed, uh, removed even, um, in the previous uh, in the previous patch, 1.1.2. Um, I gotta say <laughs> that it's pretty sad that we're not going to see any more of those proxy racks, reaper rushes. But um, I don't know. They, um, it's actually I suppose good riddance. Those things weren't always that great. So uh, a bit of chat, chit chat going on between you. Uh, someone actually asked me earlier in chat, is this a grudge or a love match? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a definitely a love match here. These guys, good friends, um, practice partners actually. They play all the time, and uh, these guys. Oh my goodness, and he actually says it here. They're supposed to cyber because it is a love match, and that's that's true. They can just they can just carry on with that while I talk here. So um, yeah, these guys know each other incredibly well. They've been playing together for a long time. Both great guys. Um, I actually read a nice interview with uh, with about with Nam earlier. Tiger Lily, you actually did that. Well done with that. Um, very interesting stuff. I'm just yakking away a bit because there's actually nothing interesting going on right now. Avocado blocking his choke with his racks and supply depot, same as every game. Um, the supporting pool is going down for Silva right now, and uh, he decides to get it down again, once again, before um, <laughs> yeah, before the the hatchery at his natural. So let's see when he when he decides to get that. He's actually at 15 population right now. Sometimes they they actually decide to get it at 15 or 16. Pretty, pretty soon after that spawning pool goes down, but let's see if he decides to do that. But back to what I was saying before, um, I saw an interview with Silva. He actually said, he, they were asked him what his best um, traits were uh, in-game, in StarCraft, what he thinks his strong points were. He actually told me it was his APM. He thinks he's a lot faster than the other players in South Africa. But I gotta say, um, I disagree. I don't know if the APM is really his strong point. Maybe he's a bit faster. Maybe he, he's confident in that speed. But I think what what makes Silva uh, a bit different than other players is he's pretty technical minded. He he can think things through pretty quickly and pretty let's just say effectively or or precisely. And um, I I just think that's his strongest point. He's he's a very technical minded guy. It it definitely helps when you play in a game like StarCraft 2. So. Um, the expansion does go down a bit later. He's on 20 population right now. Not too much later. I think he needs to get that second queen out as soon as he can. Um, that SCV just going down there. Shame. Poor SCV. Not much of a life for that. Uh, for, for one of those SCVs. Especially if they get chosen as the scout. Um, so we're going to have a look around here. Uh, there's not really very much interesting going on. As I said, I think he needs to get another queen out soon, and uh, it'll definitely help out um, if he can start spreading that creep as fast as possible. So over in, in Avocado's side, interesting development. He actually threw down that factory pretty quickly. Um, he's got another barracks going down now, and he threw down that factory to get these Nitro Packs for his Reapers. Um, interestingly enough, Numb has not spotted the Reapers yet. Silver has no idea that they're coming, um, but uh, you know it's probably better that way. So once those Nitro Packs are done and he gets one or two Reapers out, it'll be interesting to see how much damage he can actually do. Silva doesn't have any static defense out yet. He's getting his second gas out right now and he's only got one queen. He's probably going to decide to build that second queen at his natural here. So we got the Reaper Nitro Packs on their way out. Another, fact, another barracks coming down and a third one just got put down as well. So interesting strat here. Avocado Max in the gas right now. And... Um, that dog is still barking. That's that's our dog. Sorry, Nero puppy on the loose. Um, 
Yeah, I apologize. Okay, so again, I'm going to say it'll be interesting to see if Num decides to power drone a bit, get a few more drones out. Should he have scouted these Reapers, he probably would decide not to do that because uh, that's obviously a bad idea if you know the Ras is on the way. You'd rather want to get a couple of, there you go, static defenses down or um, a couple of speedlings, a couple of, uh, you know, maybe one or two more queens, just a, a bit more defense, basically. Here we go, those Reapers not quite able to damage, jumping up and down here, up and down, three Nipa Reapers with Nitro Packs. They're going to be able to take these Zerglings out with, with, let's just say, not too much trouble. He's running around here, oh, he's going to run into that Spine Crawler now, let's see if he can get away from it. The Spine Crawler does a lot of damage, wow, one Reaper down and another one on half HP. Okay, another one joins them, so he's carrying on with the Reapers, four Reapers on their way right now. Is he going to get a fifth Rax? Is this going to be a five Rax Reaper, or is this uh, Avocado's unique spin on the Reaper strat? Over in Silva's base, he's got that hidden Spire coming up, so um, pretty interesting. Let's see if he's going to be able to get those Mutalisks out in time and do some proper damage. Let's hope uh, for, for the sake of our Terran fans out there that this five Rax Reaper does work. There's a Ghost Academy coming out right now. That is interesting. So I'm um, putting the production tab back on here. I'm not sure why I keep switching that off. But um, the Spire is on its way out right now. Silva decided to spread a bit of creep here. He needs to get another queen. Um, Avocado doing wow, some nice damage. Three drones down there. Oh, but the Zerglings are ready to intercept. He takes down two or three Zerglings as well. He's going to take down that Spine Crawler before it goes up. I think Silva should probably want to cancel that right now. And he does. He can just throw down a new one right there, which he also does. So a couple of drones lost there. And um, Avocado actually doing very well with this harass right now. So the first four Mutalisks are on their way, these Reapers. Lifespan, let's just say limited. Okay, so interesting, interesting move by Avocado. This is, um, I was actually speaking to him before and he said he's got an interesting strat lined up for, for us and uh, should he go 2-0 up, he will use it. So this must be it. Very, very cool. Um, he's getting a bunch of ghosts out now. Let's see, is he getting a nuke? He's not getting a nuke. He's got Cloak on its way. But um, here comes a little assault. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that assault thwarted by Nero's barking there. Um, but here comes a little assault by our Zerg player. He's moving across the map. There are a couple of mutilists on the way as well. He runs up here and he sees the ghosts. Critically for him, he sees those ghosts. So he knows what's coming. He knows he needs to get an observer out soon. He needs to prepare for them. So this is not going to be a but much of a sneaky strat anymore. It'll be interesting to see if Nam maybe, um, if Avocado maybe gets a, a medvac out so he can drop them, move them across the map a bit quicker. Um, these Mutalisks doing nice damage here, taking down these Reapers, taking down a couple of SCVs. Um, at the moment, uh, I don't think it's enough damage right there. These Ghosts doing nice damage to the Mutalisks. But if we check the units lost quickly, uh, right now units, the Terran player actually sitting on quite a few more. Uh, three, two, three, four, oh, but Nam decides to throw down. <coughs> Sorry about that. Seven drones just came out for Nam, so, so Nam just overtook his opponent in. Um, yeah, Nam just overtook his opponent in economy. I think he's going to probably um, sort of start pulling away. Should there not be too many mules uh, out on the map, he'll pull away with income in just a couple of minutes. So. Um, Silva are doing quite a lot at the same time. Yeah, spreading a lot of creep out, going for those gold minerals, and back to the production tab. We see a roach warren going down, so that's uh, probably the 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 best choice. Seeing that there are ghosts out now, and those ghosts will sort out the mutalisks or zerglings pretty quickly. Um, and I'm pretty impressed that Nam is deciding that quickly to change his strat. So a bit of a minor transfer here. Avocado wants this expansion up and running as soon as he can get it. And uh, Avocado seems to be just changing his strat up a bit and uh, going for a more marine heavy force. Interesting, there's a Nidus network coming up. Thanks, I didn't spot that immediately. Um, wow, these ghosts just sniping down those mutalisks. Working pretty well. Um, that was, I think, probably two or three of them dropped there. Let's have a look at the units lost tab quickly. I, I that's a tab that I don't spend very much time looking at. Uh, they looking, they looking pretty equal. A lot more units lost for Num, but value-wise, they're pretty close. So um, Num just hunting down this Helion over here. It's good that Avocado is actually still trying to scout. A lot of people actually forget about that. They forget to scout. They forget to have a look at the rest of the map because uh, should your opponent hide an expansion, get it fully saturated then it's definitely going to be an advantage for them. 
So let's see what, what we what's gonna happen now. There comes the Nidus. The Nidus worm is in play. It's busy popping up right now. Three quarters done. It is finished. Let's see what he's gonna load up in there. Oh my goodness, a couple of roaches, a couple of lings. They're all on their way out and they're making their way towards the supply line right now. Will now Avocado is not gonna get there in time, but he does get those uh, those SCVs out of the way quick enough. Nice reaction time. Back into the worm, guys. I don't think you wanna fight it out against all these Marines. Oh, Avocado's army slightly split up here. Those, wow, those Mutilus got on so fast. They were sniped down so quickly with these sniper rounds. And wow, that army just decimating the Zerg force here. Marines and Ghosts, you saw it here first, guys. Avocado's special concoction here. Those snipers definitely doing their job there. And a uh, couple more roaches coming in, but they're going to go down. It seems like Avocado got his, uh, yeah, he's got his, his uh, hatchery, actually, his lair, waypointed into that Nidus Worm, just sending these roaches through. And a lot more roaches come through. Five more roaches, six roaches here. Wow, nice damage. This is very aggressive play by Silva here. Let's see, he's actually expanding at the same time. I'm not going to be able to watch all of this at the same time. He's getting a bunch more roaches out. He's doing nice damage here. That's, that's, uh, Ghost is cloaked now. That's going to be a bit of a problem. He needs to get a uh, Overseer here as soon as he can. But the Ghost energy runs out so oh touche these roaches doing the damage they need to do not working out this might be GG that creative strat by Avocado not quite working out for him there but these roaches wow he's just keeping them coming that Midas, Nidus network needs to go down he's got both these hatcheries and uh, probably all three of them now get waypointed into that Nidus network good game brilliant play there at the end by Silva wow I am so impressed